It's the semantic You find crochet tutorials It's the semantic For your favorite superhero It's the semantic Let me make your awesome card home decor It's the semantic American English doesn't have to be a bore It's the semantic With semantics and semantics and more It's the semantics Hi guys, it's Samantha Goodhart with thesemantics.com, thesemantics.etsy.com, and cafepress.com slash thesemantics. Today I'm going to show you how to combine stitches. So I'm just going to start off with a simple single crochet project. Just going to make a slip knot. And chain five times. Single crochet in those four chains. Chain once and turn it, and we're ready to begin. So, all you need to do, this is for single crochet, mind you is insert the hook, grab that yarn, pull it through the first stitch, insert the hook into the next stitch, grab that yarn, pull it through that one, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And I'm just going to single crochet in the next two stitches so you can see how it looks. And that's how it will look next to single crochet. Now if you're doing double crochet, just yarn over once before you insert the hook. And then with treble, it's twice and so on. But that's basically it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that it was a lot easier than you thought. I hope that you use it instead of skipping stitches because then you won't have that giant gap and I hope that you come back for my other tutorials where I actually use the combination stitches. So, thanks again, and take care. F-C-M-A-N-T-I-C-S <laughs> Oh boy. That's fun. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's do that one more time.